Hi, my name is Rohana Lang, and I want to invite you to my Zoom presentation. I'm a visual artist and a SUBU member for both for many years. And I want to invite you to a presentation about a project that I've been working on this year. I've called it my pandemic project. And it's a book of my black and white drawings and paintings that have been inspired by my international travels. I call it Inspired by Travel. And in the book, there also are stories of each of the locations, stories with a bit of background as to why I wanted to paint that particular image. Many people have been buying the book and um, enjoying coloring the black and white drawings. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised how many people enjoy coloring. But I guess if people don't have art training, it's, they do have to think about what colors to use. And it, it does entail a certain amount of creativity. Yeah. So um, as an artist, as a painter, when you go out, do you, uh, you go out to sketch scenes and then you come back and do the painting from your sketches? Is that how you work? combination of sketches and photographs wow. and yeah so often the, I'll do a sketch on the spot and that helps me to get to know the subject better but then when I get home I'll look at the photographs and I may add some people from one photograph and take something out and do a lot of moving things around I can move mountains <laughs> and rivers and buildings <laughs> that's part of the fun of being being a painter and not a photographer although with things like photoshop photographers can do a lot of things these days too okay so you can improve nature <laughs> well i can i can add my own creativity to it i don't know if it's possible to improve nature <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> so so what inspires you to paint a scene how do you are you aware of what, what draws you to a scene? As I was saying earlier, I think it's because there seems there's some kind of story. There's something happening there that intrigues me. Uh, probably the first thing that attracts me, though, is the, the shapes, the colors, the composition. I'll see something and say, wow, that, what an interesting combination of shapes and colors and textures. I could really do something with that and turn that into a painting. Now, what appeals to me probably wouldn't appeal to some other artist that they might look at a, a big, big piece of lake with a mountain behind or some beautiful scenery and find that inspiring. Whereas I might look at it and say, well, just a bunch of big empty shapes doesn't really interest me too much. So I'm, I'm really quite... I get more excited by old colonial town. I went to art school for four years in the days when we learned how to do classical drawing and, and uh, color theory. We didn't have computers. It was quite a different world, 1960 to 1964. And many of my teachers studied with the group of seven. They were kind of of that era. And we didn't train very few of us then were doing totally abstract art, but we were abstracting a certain amount. Certainly learning a lot about design, that was very important. Design, color, drawing, composition. Um, some of my first classes, we even drew, drew the models using skeletons and we had uh, structures with the muscles of the body so that we could learn about the body and now many of the artists I know don't don't know how to draw anything very well or they don't they don't consider it important they they if they want a figure or something drawn they can always um, put a, a, an image on a screen, photographic image on a screen or something. And it's more now about the concept and the, the idea for, for many artists. It's, it's a very different world now than the one that I entered into in the 1960s. <laughs> Were there other particular painters or 
artists that um, that you really enjoyed or, or felt drawn to? Oh, hundreds of them, but uh, ones that are well, well known, of course, the, the Impressionists and the ones that are famous like Van Gogh and Gauguin, Matisse. I like the post-Impressionists and the Expressionists. Um, so the group of seven, particularly like Lauren Harris, he was a big influence on Emily Carr, but I love Lauren Harris's sense of design, especially the series he did of, of Canadian mountains that are, are fairly abstracted. I find them very beautifully designed. Um, well, of the more contemporary ones, I recently was I'm really blown away, away by David Hockney's uh, landscapes that he did in the 1990s. They're abstract paintings that are based on British landscape, and I found them very beautiful. So I invite you to attend the presentation. And the presentation on Zoom News will be on Monday, March the 29th at noon Pacific Daylight Time. And I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you.